It's 62. Yep. Victoria spent some of her summer vacation crunching numbers. And 620. There you go. Her mom, Lizbeth Chu, told me Victoria had a difficult first year of middle school in her Seminole County Public School. They just was going to fail her or, you know, have her do sixth grade again. And Chu's daughter is not alone. West Chu investigates obtained retention data from our local school districts to see just how many Central Florida middle and high school students were held back last school year and how those numbers compared to previous years. Osceola County had a 15% increase in the number of students held back when comparing the 2019-2020 school year to last year. Volusia County jumped 36%. Seminole, nearly 40% between the last two school years. Lake County had a nearly 55% increase in students repeating a grade. And Brevard had the highest jump at 65%. And the trend was the opposite for Central Florida's largest school district. Orange County had a 61% drop in middle schoolers who were retained over the past two school years. When it comes to high schoolers, though, the district told me those students aren't typically held back but must meet certain credit requirements for graduation. This year's final graduation rates, though, will not be available until later this year. Well, the effects of COVID have been debilitating. Dr. James McLaughlin is an education professor here at Rollins College. Uh, there's a recent large study of 5.5 million schools school children published this year, published on July 28th actually, that showed that uh, most of the school children were 17 to 19 percentile points below the test this year as compared to two years ago. So we've seen a serious drop in achievement on tests, but we've also seen much greater uh, attrition and lack of attendance. Is there any hope of rebounding if uh you know, if this continues to happen? Sure. There are so many good teachers out there, and there are so many really dedicated principals and staff out there in the schools. So they're going to do the very best they can to help these kids and work with their families. So I'm always optimistic. Chu is also optimistic. She has taken an active role in helping her daughter rebound. I have to do something. So started taking her to um, Huntington Learning Center where they um, really truly made a difference. We've been incredibly busy this summer. We're about 148% uh, busier or with a higher enrollment than last year at this time. Sharon Bergen is the owner and director of this Huntington in Longwood. Families in general are just very concerned about their children having fallen behind. Um, they always talk about the summer side this year. There seems to be the COVID side on top of that. What's your hope for Victoria when school starts back up next week? She's gonna go in there full armed with uh, well more education, more empowerment. Tools that will help her succeed as she gets ready to navigate another school year during the pandemic. In Seminole County, Sheldon Dutez, WESH 2 News.